thanks to Amazon Fresh for sponsoring this video. Good morning. I was up before the sun today and this feels inhumane. I wish I could be like, oh my god, I love it. My life is so put together. Woke up at 6 a.m. and took my dog on the walk. Loving it, healthy living. No, it's like the opposite of a hot girl walk. This is a cold girl walk. Good morning. Oh, look at my new leash. Everybody needs one of these. It clips around your waist. And you just like walk your dog with no hands. Kind of a moment. Okay, get this day started. I will say it is pretty Gorgina today. And I think once I have my coffee, I'll enjoy these surroundings more. Do you hear the birds? They're kind of cute. Kind of beautiful. Good morning, Momo. So, you know how I was doing dry January? Well, I bet, for those of you who don't know what dry January is, I got a couple of DMs like, what is dry January? Does that mean no sex? Um, absolutely not. Dry January was no drinking alcohol, like zero. Um, and I extended it because I was like living for the feeling. I've been getting the best sleep of my life. I truly can't believe. When I tell you my dreams have been so like vivid too, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I'm ready. Can you get dressed so we can get some coffee? Not to be dramatic, but it's the most beautiful day outside. Gotta get our groceries. We're at Amazon Fresh. I wanna try like new things today. I feel like I've been getting similar groceries every time I go and I wanna spruce it up and explore. It's the perfect day right now. I can't. Ooh, I can't Just buy looking around. These are my favorite type of flowers. I don't know what the, what these are. They're five dollars, but what are they? Oh my god! I've been seeing signs everywhere. Read this. Product grown in Colombia. Yeah. What are the odds I pick Colombian flowers? What's the sign? We're getting married in Colombia. Just like the stars are aligned. You don't think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think that's a sign? Yeah. You don't think that's a sign? Whoa. <laughs> I went to my first Amazon Fresh grocery store in Encino, my first time going there, and whoa, it was the coolest experience. Okay, so you scan your Amazon account to go in, and the shopping begins, baby. It's my 2023 vibe, and I'm into eating healthy fruits, veggies, you know, the vibes. Look at how Gorgina everything looks on the displays. Like, it was truly such a gorgeous and crispy, clean store. Oh, and pineapples have been my new snack recently. Marinated chicken is everything, okay? Like, they do the work for you. And $4.99, like, slay. You fill up your cart as you shop. Like, you just put everything into the bags. The hot bar section is where it's at. I mean, I personally get lazy when it's time to cook the sides, so having these already done for me. And I caught a come up with these strawberries, $2.49, baby. And they look literally solved the most annoying part of grocery shopping, at least for me, which is waiting in the line. You literally just walk out. It charges your account. How cool. Save on groceries at Amazon Fresh. Visit your local Amazon Fresh grocery store to check out deals in your area. Thanks to Amazon Fresh for sponsoring this video. Good morning. Oh God, I have a bit of a embarrassing confession like it's fine i guess whatever who cares you can judge me all you want i don't care because i would judge me too <laughs> i don't know how to get gas like i don't know how to pump gas i mean i might now but i haven't done it in so many years because basically i drove an electric car and then after that Penny would always pump my gas for me. Like I'm a little passenger princess, like you know the vibes. So it's been four and a half years since I've pumped a tank of gas. And yesterday we had a conversation about maturing and being an adult. Gross. He was like, you need to learn how to pump your own gas tank. You cannot continue to live life like this. Which like facts. I'm, like going to my workout class right now and there's no gas in the tank and I'm like late. How are we doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. So yesterday, I don't know how I've gone this many years without eating in and out okay? Yesterday, I was craving it so bad. And I was in LA, I got a double-double cheeseburger. Oh my God. Never has a meal hit so different in my life. Like I was expecting to get the in and out fix the craving and be like, okay, like fine, I did it. Now I'm not craving it anymore. The opposite, it was so good that now I'm like questioning it all. I'm like, do I want to live this life of workouts and like being like healthy or do I just say F it? Like, does it really matter? <laughs> 
So, yeah. I want to get like a hot girl mirror pick before we depart on this journey. I don't have time to be doing this. Ew, I should also pack like hand sani. I'm gonna be touching the pump, ew. This mirror only captures like partially what's behind me. So I'm just gonna throw everything in the background off and hopefully it looks like my bed is made. Shout out to the queens who make their bed every single morning. Like I just know you smell good all the time and like have goals and achieve them. I know everybody hates these glasses. Well, it's kind of a split decision. Some people are like sweat and some people are like stop. I think it's cute. Okay, I hope this comes up like my mirror looks clean. Let's go. Okay. Well, I just don't want to slay this shit so hard because I'm not. I'm not an idiot, you know. Please replace nozzle. The oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Remain calm. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Let's get this workout started. These don't look intense, but they hurt. Oh, also these. The tall girls really have an advantage with those because I'm so short and I have to go all the way on that thing. Anyways, we're doing some of these. I love these, don't know what they're called. Love these because they really target each glute at a time. And then some balancing work. I love a balancing moment since clearly I'm not a coordinated queen. I love these, the dumbbell up, the dumbbell down. This also, live for it, a little pike roll thing. I literally set up the camera here and acted like I was gonna do something and then just like didn't, up, like ended up not doing it. <laughs> jaw, jaw, jaw. Anyways, I feel like I'm really killing this workout today. I'm feeling it. My energy is like good enough. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, there's a couple rounds of each thing we do. I wanna say there's like three rounds of each exercise so by the third round all of us are on our last leg a little bit but i power through nonetheless isolated glute work is a fave of mine and bam these are so impressive to look at like i just feel like such a warrior but in the moment they're just as fun some little rows row 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 your bow gently down the street and tornado balls. These are fun, except I always feel like I'm gonna smack myself in the face. I have once. Didn't hurt as bad as you would assume. Um, but. And we're back here. Last, final stretch. Feeling myself, as you can see, I'm like checking myself out. You know, it's that time of the workout. Towards the end, the abs start poking a little bit and you're like, okay, sis, put in that work. Flip looking in. Okay. So the save the dates just came in. I'm so excited about them. I feel like they look really cute. When we got this photo at the engagement shoot, I knew that we had to use it for something. Cause like this photo is just like giving Vogue. And even though we took these pics in Arizona, they give Colombian energy, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you open this, you're like, oh, we are going to Colombia. That could just be in my head. Now that I say it out loud, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but it makes sense in my head. Doing the envelope portion of this was so stressful because you have to gather everybody's address. The thing with wedding planning is like, I have so much other shit going on that when it's time to like sit down and like put all these people's addresses together and like send something like I'm so lazy. And then at the end, I'm like talking to my mom on the phone and I realized that I did it literally all wrong like i guess for a formal invitation there's like all these formalities that i wasn't aware of because like who the fuck is aware of that so for example like my friend annie at first i did like miss annie cassius because you're supposed to do that like oh this is so stupid and like formal and like makes no sense to me but apparently if if a girl has not been married yet it's M-I-S-S, -S. but whatever. So then i had to do like redo everybody's like name and then i had to do it like this like miss any cash as I'm covering the address because it's underneath but like cute font right cute little moment I have to order like a specific stamp I guess there's like a love stamp that has like a heart on it and then you stamp it and like another thing I didn't realize I thought I had to go to like the post office and drop these off and get this learning things about life is so cool get this you don't have to take things to the mailbox to send them out you just put the stamp on it and then you go to your mailbox and you put the red flag up. And that means outgoing mail. Who knew? Like literally, that was great. But yeah, so besides that, the wedding planning is going. We're actually going to 
Columbia soon, like next week. I'm going to vlog the whole thing to like actually meet the planner and sit down and just handle everything. Because there's not a lot you can achieve through WhatsApp. Like, I mean, you can. I'm the type of person that I want to sit down and just bang everything out. So we're going to go. We're going to try the whole food menu. And then there's actually a lot to decide. And we started writing a budget down the other day. And there were so many hidden things that we didn't think about. We're like, oh, yeah, I mean, obviously you have to pay for all that. But we weren't accounting for it. Um, so we have to pay for violin people. Because, like, when I walk down the aisle, I want violins. Like, I feel like that's Gorgina. Okay, violin people, la banda, like, for the reception and for the cocktail hour. Because I feel like live music for the cocktail hour, like, that's just going to hit. You know what I mean? Like, really sets the scene, sets the, you know, the vibe. Okay. Then, for the party, we need the right DJ. The music at a wedding is so important, and I feel like people don't pay as much attention to that as they should. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. But the music at a wedding, come on. That's like, that defines the tone. Oh, these are all things that we haven't sourced either. So we have to just go to Colombia and figure out all these things. In Latin countries, they do this thing called La Hora Loca. And it's basically like one hour of the party that's crazy. Um, and like people come in and like, there's like a million different directions you could take it. You could have like people come in on stilts. You could have fire people come, whatever. It's just like one hour of craziness. And I asked my family, I'm like, should I do that? Or is it like tacky? Like, I don't want the wedding to read bar mitzvah. And if I picture like performance people and like people on stilts like that's personally giving me bar mitzvah but i spoke to everybody and everybody's like do it do it do it like that's going to be the highlight of the guests whole experience like the stories i've heard like people go crazy on laura loca like they really like go nuts they dance like they've never danced before like they take shots like they go nuts and it's everybody's favorite part and it's such a highlight and it really like sets the pace because i'm also fearful of a wedding like getting like boring like okay so you have like a reception you have the, the ceremony right and then you have the dinner right and then you have the dance party but i feel like the dance party could drag out like unless there's um but then i started stalking like super bougie wedding planners like they do weddings that are 300k 400k like the craziest most bougie weddings and they all have it so i'm like okay if these rich bitches that are dropping 400k on a wedding can have laura loca my puny little wedding, like it won't read bar mitzvah. So that's how I've justified it. Um, I also like literally, this is such a jaw, jaw, jaw. Um, I fully thought that the venue fee like that I paid for included the food and blah, 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 blah for the wedding, which it does. But I also thought that that included the rehearsal dinner the night before. I was wrong. So we have to like, find a place to do the rehearsal dinner now and like pay for that ja 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 um what else is there like funny shit i didn't realize that i had to pay for <laughs> luckily my family's being like super helpful and they're planning other things around the wedding that like i don't have to fund or plan like there's like two boat days that they just like plan on their own they're like come i'm like i will be there it's like fun stuff like that um all right wedding planning is like kind of funny but we will go to Colombia and figure everything out. Oh, there's also these like parades that they do in the street there. They're really beautiful. This is what they look like. I think it's pretty. I think it's a gorgeous photo. I think it's just like a cool memory. And I think it's like a celebration party, like blah, blah, blah. Henny hates the idea. He's like, if I know anything about you and me is we don't like public displays of attention like that. And like, why would we do something so special, like marry each other and then literally parade it around for other people, which like, I agree, and there is a lot of tourists in that city, and imagine, like, you're a tourist, and there's, like, a parade with a bride in the middle, you're gonna be whipping out your phone and being like, whoa, and, like, I don't want to end up on, like, random people's stories like that, like, I don't want to be, like, a tourist attraction, so I do get that to a certain extent, but the photos just are so beautiful, and it looks so gorgeous and special and, like, unique, like, I haven't seen many other places that, like, do that, so I don't know, can we vote, please, in the comments, parade, or no parade. And there was like one wedding in Cartagena that I was like stalking and they did the parade thing and it was covered in Vogue. So, I already told you I'm not doing like bridesmaids and he's not doing groomsmen, right? I feel like it just like simplifies everything. And like, I don't know, the idea of having bridesmaids like standing up there while we're getting married, like on the side, like sit down, you know what I mean? Like sit down, like you get a better view from that down there anyways. Like just sit down, participate in the audience, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, speeches, we're giving a couple of speeches, we're capping them at five minutes. Nothing is more cringy than like an overdrawn, like, 
long-winded speech like a long-winded speech at a wedding like no so we're gonna cap them at five like the couple weddings that i've been to i remember the speeches were my favorite part because you really get to learn about the family and the couple and it's like really beautiful so we're both gonna give a couple speeches um I feel like the way that you have to decide who speaks at your wedding isn't like, who's the most important to me? Because then it's just like, then people get mad and then it's like, but I am this. How come I didn't get a speech? No, it's like, who do you think is going to give the best speech? Like, who do you think can handle like public speaking, A, and B, like, who do you think like knows the couple well enough, like both of them to speak on it and like deliver like a funny, cute, memorable moment. So yeah, that's that on that. Like, uh, yeah, there's, like, kind of a lot to figure out with this wedding, but we're going to go do it in person and, like, figure it out, and I will vlog that. Oh, he's super fun, actually. Thanks to Amazon Fresh for sponsoring this video.